Jim Bowers, Demon Seed, back at you here on the YouTube Network. Hey, we're out here at the Flying Field, and I want to introduce you to a good buddy of mine, Terry Wilson. Hey. If you're thinking about getting into FPV racing, there's a few things that you ought to know, especially if you're a novice. Now, uh, what exactly uh, are, are you flying today? Uh, we're flying the Nighthawk. This is actually came out, oh, I don't know, probably a year ago. And of course, it's already been outdated. Uh, I think today, what is today, the 21st, yeah. uh, uh, you pre-order your Alien frame. And that's the uh, incredible new uh, money gouging uh, thing for the hobby. And is the Alien frame a, like a more robust frame? Is it just more durable? It's more durable, and it goes in an X instead of in an H configuration. Uh, it's in, it's incredibly light, uh, incredibly flat, fast. Um, when I get the money going, uh, I'll dump this one and, of course, go to the Alien frame. Now, what did it cost you to build this? About what can somebody, not counting the radio, what can somebody expect to, to build a good home-built FPV racer? A good home-built FPV racer like this uh, with the Sunny Sky Motors, with the CC3D. I like the CC3D. There's a lot of people out there going, boo, boo. I like it. What's the CC3D? That's the flight controller? That's the flight controller. Uh, they make many different kinds. There's open pilot. There's uh, uh, CC3D Dragonfly. Well, it's a Dragonfly, but I call it CC3D. Uh -huh. uh, but I had a flyaway with the uh, Dragonfly. I mean, just gone. Had no control on it, and several of the people I know have had the same issue. Uh, but when you get a good one, they work great. Um, I'm going to say like this is about 350 bucks um i could have built it but i had a friend of mine john do this one he just he's an incredible builder um he likes to take all of his time and efforts and when he's done you get a thing of beauty that actually works now i notice i mean you're not using the top of the line spectrum or the top of the line camera you've got an orange receiver in here uh, the orange receiver is for one shot what do you mean by one shot? Uh, it, it's got, it's pretty, well, not one shot. It's, it's got, uh, instead of all the wires coming out for the aileron, the rudder, the throttle, it's got two wires and it uh, plugs right into the CC3D. Oh, I see. So you're not having to plug in the rudder and the ailerons Correct. and the pitch and the roll. Right. You just plug in two wires and you're done. And that's the beauty of having the CC3D. You okay. can do that. Uh, in fact, there's so much you can do with it. It's a, it's a, an incredible uh, device. And, and of course, a lot of people are going to the uh, Tyrannus radio, which is even uh, allows you to do more uh, programming. It's completely open source. You can do whatever you want with it, just about. Now, one thing I've noticed that you do is you you do not fly in the auto level mode. You fly in the manual what? manual mode. yeah uh what happens if you go in self-level of course everybody out there knows this uh, it limits you uh for the push it limits you for the turns uh it limits you to uh it limits you your flight capability uh the problem with self-level is you can adjust it to where you can get the tilt for the push um but when you turn you kind of just slide around um it if you're going to race you can't slide. You've got to turn and go. So for a novice, though, they might want to start out in self-level just to get, you know, uh, acclimated and used to it and then well, switch a, over once they're proficient. Well, you have a double switch. You have self-level uh -huh. and then in manual mode. Right. Uh, you, you, yes, it does take you a bit to learn manual. And, yes, you do need to adjust this board to your needs as you and as you progress you can increase all this, the uh, control surfaces okay now what would you recommend i mean for the absolute novice newbie they build their own fpv racer uh, they get out there they get ready to fly what are a few of the things that they should just look out for or do right there from the beginning uh don't fly around people you want to be careful. There's people out there. Uh, these things, when you crash, they do travel quite a ways, bouncing and hopping on the ground. Um, even though you think you're invincible on these things, or I'm a great pilot, it takes one mistake to hurt somebody. So, and that gives it a bad name. So, if we just, if there's people out there, stop. Go okay. somewhere where there's no people. Okay. Now. All right, guys. We're out here at a new flying field. So, Terry. 
Um, you've got a friend, Ben, who uh, was in the Nationals here at Cal Expo. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and he did pretty well, huh? Uh, yeah, considering round the world participation, he did pretty good. Yeah. Yep. And um, uh, he's got some great YouTube videos out there of FPV flying. So if you want to check out some really cool FPV racer videos, wh what's his YouTube channel? Uh, it's Big Head 93. Big Head 93. Check out some of his uh, uh, videos. They're they're very cool. So, uh, hey guys, we're giving away a drone. We're going to give away a 3DR X8 Plus in our December promotion. And all you've got to do is subscribe to Demon Seed. And we're going to pick at random one subscriber who we're going to send an X8 to. So if you want to get into FPV racing, you can either go Terry's route and build your own out of uh, this frame again is is the Nighthawk. My it, my little uh, nickname for is Little Sparky. Right. Okay, so uh, if you now Christmas is coming up, if you want to put a drone on layaway, give Peter a call over at acesdeals.biz. He's got a layaway plan, doesn't charge anything for it. You just make whatever payments you want until you pay it off. Give him a call at 888 239 2644 and he'll explain all the details for you. I've got a new drone on its way to me that we're going to review. It's the DJI Standard. And the new standard that's out, you know, it's kind of like the Vision Plus, except the standard shoots in 2.7K video. So it's on its way to me. We'll do a review on that. For about 700 bucks, you can get a great drone. Because I think it's 799 you actually get a flight case with it. Check out the details and the exact price over at www.acesdeals.biz. Thanks for your time, Terry, and I appreciate all the tips. Just pay me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Jim Bowers, Demon Seed, back at you here on the YouTube Network. You guys have a great evening. And don't forget to kiss the damn wife for me. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.